farm event vlog. That was my intro. Bye. now half past nine i'm hiding from the wind in the lorry it is such a windy day um i've packed pretty much everything into the lorry i've got like my tack i've done the hay i've got water i need to get Murph in i was gonna give him a bath but i feel a bit bad because it's so windy um so i'm just gonna wash his socks because they're dirty and then i'll just groom him hopefully <laughs> it'll look shiny enough and i'm gonna plait um I can't really film much outside because it's so windy you wouldn't be able to hear what I was saying. But I think it should be fun. The first half of the course is really uphill, so that should be interesting. I mean, I'm, I'd rather have the uphill part at the start because at least it'll be full of running at the start. It's like downhill towards the end, so even if he's... I'm gonna keep that in. I told you it's windy. Even if he's lagging a bit, because the second half's downhill, he'll be fine. Um, hopefully. The only other time he's ever been to Ascot under Witchwood was not with me, and he fell over in the water. I don't fancy a swim, not especially not on a day like today. So we'll try not to have a repeat. Touch wood. If we have one now, I've jinxed myself, but. Yeah, I'm going to go and finish getting him ready because we're going to aim to leave here about 11 I think and I've still got a plan and stuff so yeah. Hello. Oh hey buddy. Oh my goodness. Murphy. Oh. <laughs> Hi sleepy head. <laughs> Hello, sleepy head. Oh, you got such a good boy. That is the ultimate lazy. At least you're nice and shiny. Huh? You don't need a bath. Just your socks. Hey, come on. It's time to get up now. Oh, sorry. Come on, up you get. Oh, good boy. Oh, good lad. Are you stretching? Oh, good man. <laughs> good morning, sleepy.
day after the event, I'm just tidying out the lorry. But I forgot to film it. Well, I didn't forget. I just thought I would do it today. Um, an outro. So I thought I would just let you know how it went. So we got a 35.5 dressage, which I was so happy with. Um, he was super distracted in the warm up. He doesn't really like big open spaces, and obviously. Ascot under Richwood is just big open space that you can see for miles all around. So he was quite distracted. But when we got in the test, he focused and he pulled out a really nice test. So that was good. It was very varied in my section. I think the lowest score was 22.75 and the highest score was 50.4. So we were like slap bang in the middle pretty much, which was quite nice. Um, I was pleased with that. Then I went to watch the show jumping because we had an hour and I knew the course but I wanted to see what how it was riding. So I watched four people, every single person had number eight down and I just couldn't work out why they were all getting in perfect. Then I went to warm up for show jumping and literally so many people having number eight down, some people having other poles but mainly it was number eight that was catching people out. There was barely any clears. I set him up nice and straight to number eight when we got there he'd been jumping really nicely around the rest of the course because like it's on it's really hilly venue so the show jumping is literally on a hill so we were jumping downhill and uphill in this um and i set him up for number eight and he he barely tapped it and it came down but he cleared the rest so i was happy with that um and then i didn't look to see where we were or anything because i wasn't really bothered about placing or not placing like we were so the dressage was so varied barely anyone was going clear I was like it's literally all up in the air don't know what could happen cross country I thought he was going to find really hard but he stormed around the course he did such a good round he was taking flyers left right and center like he was obviously having a great time which was so lovely um we didn't have any stops we had a super clear but we were just a little bit outside the time I don't I can't remember by how much but we got a few time penalties but again barely anyone made the time I think there was only eight people that made the time in my section out of 38 so I was like mm, that's fine I think I ended up coming around 16th out of the 38 or something like that um, and yeah I was just really pleased because we both had a super fun day um, and we did we just came back we came away happy so that's nice and uh, i've now got a cold because i was freezing yesterday it's still windy and cold it's still not gone um so i've come back with a cold but apart from that i had a great time i've just seen murphy he's sleeping in the field so he must be quite tired after yesterday um so i'm going to take him on a hand walk once i've done the lorry um but yeah apart from that it was a really good day and unfortunately nearly the end of the season already which sucks because i've only got out, managed to get out to two events but I'm pretty sure I'm going to try and go to uh, Sway Cliffs, Wall Cliff, I don't know how to say it, uh, on the 10th of October. I'm going to try and go there and do the 90, because I was meant to be going to Aston the Walls at the end of October, but they've changed it to a training event, so I'm not going to that, because um, I want to go to another actual event um, before the season ends. But yeah, that'll be the last one. And then over the winter, I think we need to crack on with our dressage and take him... Uh, to the gallops a couple of times and really get him galloping because he felt really good yesterday but he just needs that little bit of extra fitness um, and confidence and I need the stamina as well I was knackered by the end so yeah that would be good for us but I haven't while well, I've been doing this packed away anything in the lorry so I need to go and do that and um, yeah next time I go eventing I'll vlog it I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope none of you have a cold like I do. Thanks for watching.